वेलकम लेट सॉल्व दिस वन मार्क क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम गेट टू थाउजेंड एंड एट एग्जाम द स्टेटमेंट रीड्स अ प्रोसेसर दैट हैज कैरी ओवरफ्लो एंड साइन फ्लैग बिट्स एज पार्ट ऑफ इट्स प्रोग्राम स्टेटस वर्ड परफॉर्म्स एडिशन ऑफ फॉलोइंग टूज कॉम्प्लीमेंट नंबर्स आफ्टर द एग्जीक्यूशन ऑफ दिस एडिशन ऑपरेशन द स्टेटस ऑफ कैरी ओवरफ्लो एंड साइन फ्लैग रेस्पेक्टिवली विल बी so first thing is what is this psw program status word program status is self explanatory that means we can get to know the status of recently executed instruction that means did we generate a carry or was there any overflow but what is this word we call it a word because say this is your alu these are the two inputs and here we have this register named psw it stores all the flags all the flag bits combinedly known combinedly are known as program status word it's called a word because all the flags are stored in one single register and the value of value of that register can be thought of as a word because say you are using 32 bit architecture that means one register is of 32 bits then one word is also going to be of 32 bits so the alu sends one word after every instruction after execution of every every instruction to update the value of flags that's the reason it's called a word okay anyways let's try to solve this question so i have noted down these two numbers that are given in the statement and we are performing a addition between them let's add them 1 plus 1 is 0 with the 1 with carry 1 this is 1 again 1 plus 1 is 0 with carry 1 1 plus 0 is 1 1 plus 1 is 0 with carry 1 then 1 plus 1 is 0 with carry 1 so this carry will be copied here okay now you see this one is a positive number okay the first number is a positive number because most significant bit here is 0 and second one is negative number because the most significant bit here is 1 whenever you add a positive and a negative number there is no chance of overflow ever you cannot cause overflow by adding a positive and a negative number because say this is the range that you can represent with n bits here number of bits are 8 so with 8 bits you can represent 2 to the power 7 negative of 2 to the power 7 2 positive 2 to the power 7 minus 1 now you take any negative number any negative number and add it with any positive number in this range you cannot get out of this range that means you can never cause overflow so option number a Uh, this bit the second bit in options is overflow they are saying overflow is one that's not possible option number c is also not possible so our answer can be b part or d part only let's see so did we generate a carry yeah we generated a carry out okay that means carry flag has to be one carry flag is one in both b and d now let's check the sign flag we didn't cause any overflow because we are adding a positive and a negative number now no overflow means our answer of this addition or result of this addition can be easily saved in 8 bits that means this part is our answer from here to here that also means we need not include this into our answer 
had we generated some carry had we generated sorry had we caused some overflow then it would mean that answer is 9 bits in length we cannot save the answer in 8 bits because we have caused a overflow but in this case there is no overflow so our answer is 8 bits only this is a positive number because most significant bit here is 0 okay positive number means the sign is has to be 0 so you can also reject this option because it says sign is 1 okay this one is also rejected so your answer is option number b okay let's see one more point regarding this question you can also check if there is a overflow or not by taking xor of these two bits how did i get these two bits at first place where did these two bits come from to the most significant bit what is carry in that means this bit the addition of second last bit generated some carry that we'll write here and the addition of last bit generated some carry that we'll write here you take their xor that means 1 xor 1 which is 0 0 means no overflow had the xor been 1 we'll say there is overflow okay why do we take xor here or why only these two carry ins and carry outs why only carry in and carry out for most significant bit that we have already seen in our theory lectures okay 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 one point i've missed is let's see the values of these numbers that means let's verify our addition so this one is a positive number this one is a negative number positive means we need not take any two's complement or we need not change anything here that means just simply take the value represented by this combination of bits so the value represented here is going to be 9 19 38 38 into 2 plus 1 so this number is going to be plus 77 plus because most significant bit is 0 and 77 is the value represented by these bits now the second number is a negative one that means first of all let's put a negative sign here then you take 2's complement of these bits. Let's take its 2's complement, which is going to be 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0. Okay. Now the value represented by these bits is 11 into 2 plus 1, 22, 23. So 23 with the negative sign. Okay. Perform this addition. You get 7 minus 3 is 4 and 54. So our answer must be 54 with the positive sign. First of all, we are getting a positive sign. Yeah. Now let's check if this number is 54. Okay. So if this number comes out to be 54, then we can be sure that our addition is correct. And you can also verify from here, verify from here that the sign bit is going to be 0. So the sign bit is 0. Now let's check its value. This is Yeah, this value, the value represented by this combination is 54. And we have verified our result also. Now, how did I get this? How did I verify whether it's 54 or not? For that, you can watch my videos on digital logic. They have already been uploaded on my main channel. Okay.